Hello, I'm Shannon Brinker, and I want to welcome you to our course, How to Clean and Protect Removable Appliances. I want to start first by just letting you know that I am a dental assistant. I work in a practice just like most of you. Uh, I have been a dental assistant now for about 30 years, and uh, it seems like a very long time. Uh, but what I want you to know is that it's really important to hopefully understand that I am just like you. And as I'm giving the course today, I want to really take you from a, 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 a the, I guess, from a perspective of a team member and giving you some ideas and things that hopefully will open your eyes to why it is so important to not only, you know, when we think about delivering appliances, we, you know, we don't focus quite as much as we should on home care instructions. And I'm a big home care instructions advocate. You know, I have checklist and I've got, you know, all kinds of things that I will give the patient as far as those instructions go. And uh, we even take it as far as emailing our patients and texting our patients those instructions because we want to make sure that they understand and that we're very clear. There are a lot of times when patients are in our chair that we know they're shaking their head. Yes, they do understand what we said and um, they tell you that they've got it, but we know that they didn't, right? Um, and uh, it's kind of like I always say, almost like doing surgery on a patient when you do an extraction, right? And we're giving them these post-op instructions, uh, you know, don't smoke, don't drink through a straw, and they go out to their car and you could watch them and they light up a cigarette, right? So this is where I think it's so important. And again, with the time that we have uh, in our dental practices, you know, we only can do so much. And this is why I'm, I utilize a lot of other avenues for making sure of that. But most importantly today, what we want to talk about is how can we help patients keep all of their appliances clean and most importantly, keep them <laughs> or, or, to, to minimize the cleaning that we've got to do as team members, right? So I want to show you a quick video and I think it'll help open the eyes for those who are not uh, really uh, sports fanatics or most importantly, uh, you know, participate in sports. Um, we see a lot of this nowadays. When we think about, uh, you know, our role models, and especially for young adults, um, one of the things that we see more and more, and I know Steph Curry, he is really the one that is getting scrutinized for, you know, showcasing his, you know, appliance, right? And what I, what I think a lot of people hate about it is the fact that he is constantly, not just the chewing on it, I hate to think what his dentition looks like, but most importantly, um, the fact that he's taking it in and out, he's touching it, he's touching the floor, he's putting his nasty hands on it. Um, and a lot of times we're seeing kids now mimic this type of, uh, of uh, I guess, you know, appliance, you know, showcasing appliances right on the field, whether it be football or soccer. And we need to be more aware of this, I think, now more than ever. And here we know, again, with the new season starting and, and you know, athletics, uh, it playing a big role right now because everybody wants to get out of the house. We really have to, again, think about the conversations that we're having with patients um, and then thinking about what that looks like, you know, and again, putting, you know, this in a place where we can uh, help patients not only maintain the appliances that they're utilizing, but most importantly, keeping them clean, right? There was a study done and, and really published by the American General Dentistry um, that that really focused on mouth guards and and understanding the fact that that can be a breeding ground really for life-threatening bacteria. Um, and it's yeast and mold. And you may say, well, Shannon, what do you mean by that? Well, these germs are found in mouth guards. They're found in bleaching trays. They're found in aligners that we're utilizing. And what I want you to really think here, which really opened my eyes, is the fact that, you know, it's left behind food that's in the teeth or left behind debris. Um, you know, we're putting those in our mouths. We, we know that there's already bacteria in the mouth. There's food in between our teeth, right? But what happens is, is that, you know, we're taking these in and out and now, um, you know, we're not really taking good care of those um, removable appliances. And what we found is that germs, you know, that are found in those night guards or mouth guards, partials, dentures, aligners, can also lead to strep. And that is for me was something that really hit home because I was in a liner therapy and I know that we would take them in and out. Um, could I always say that every time I touched those that my hands were clean? No, I'd be lying. And this is where we really have to think about the instructions for patients and most importantly, the home care, because not only are we thinking about staph infections, now we're thinking about 
herpes and other diseases, you know, that we, again, never really thought about before because COVID has really made us aware of these things. And so this is where we really have to, again, look at what are we saying to patients? And most importantly, every time we're delivering um, an appliance, what is the verbiage? We also know, and I hate to make fun of this denture here, but we ran a contest for the ugliest, nastiest denture that a patient took out of their mouth and handed to us, right? Whether it be a denture, a partial, a night guard. Oh my God, I had one that was like 22 years old. I'm like, I didn't think they made mouth guards back then. But, you know, when we think about, you know, the toothbrushes, dentures, dental floss, athletic mouth guards, you know, this is where, again, we focus on that reoccurring health problem. You know, when we think about, um, you know, we talked about, uh, you know, getting staph infection, herpetic, you know, herpes, um, and then asthma attacks, you know, again, it makes sense, right? But what I want you to think about is when someone hands you a denture like this, uh, and this was the winner in my practice, I'm like, how in the world, what is that on this? You know, it must have dipped skull or is it uh, tobacco? Is it something else? What is the green? You know, it's like, what in the world? And then the patient will hand this to us and expect us to get it clean, right? To make it look new. And that sometimes is what makes me even sick, right? Sometimes they'll hand them to me and I'm like, I just want to take it to the trash, right? But this is what we normally do. This is how we take care of it in the practice. We'll spray it, put it in a bag, you know, and then we'll take the baggie and some people will actually put it in, uh, you know, in something and then uh, place it into the ultrasonic, right? We're going to place it in the baggie, we're going to put it in there and we're going to place it in the ultrasonic. Let me give you something to think about. We all have done this. I'd be lying if I told you that we haven't. But when you pour that solution, which the number one, and we've done our poll today, you know, how many of you will place it into uh, a little device at the chair for patients when you're cleaning them and maybe put a tablet in there? And how many of you place it into the ultrasonic? It was close to 64%. What I want you to understand, though, is this is what's happening. We're placing it into a, a Ziploc baggie. We're going to put it into the ultrasonic. What happens if that gets punctured? What happens for any reason or another? Maybe someone puts instruments in there. Um, it maybe it's a partial with a clasp and you put that partial in that baggie and it punctures it. What's going to go into the bag? That's what scares me the most. Um, I know there are practices that will put this into a beaker and put the beaker into the ultrasonic, and which is what we should be doing, but there's a lot of us that don't. And so that's where I want you to really come back to here in a few minutes is what are you doing when it comes to those appliances? The other thing that we're telling patients at home is that they can just buy the tablet. They can drop their retainer in there. They can drop their aligner in there. Um, some patients will brush their aligners with toothpaste and a you know, a toothbrush or electric toothbrush. Um, this is the way that we would tell patients to do these things. But let's back up a little bit. How many patients really do comply to these, that, these um, you know, instructions that we're giving them to take care of? Because the last thing that we want is to not really, again, have that conversation about bacteria, you know, yeast, the fungus, the viruses that live on, you know, all the dental surfaces. We know that, right? And are used and stored as they usually were. But thinking about, you know, the disease, transmitting the disease that's causing these organisms to get into the bloodstream, you know, promoting infection. And these are, you know, a lot of documentation, a lot of articles that are written on these appliances and the bacteria and what we're putting into our mouths. What about the young adults here? You know, we have to think about them as well. And it's so important for us to think about the oral care. We're no longer just, you know, assistants or just hygienists. We are healthcare professionals and we have to look at everything as a whole, you know, um, a total body experience here for the patients to understand that. And so what I want you to really think about is what is the process? What are you utilizing and what materials could be available to you? When Whitmix came to me um, and Lorena had said, hey, I've got a new product I want you to try, I teach a lot of courses for Invisalign. And when I say a lot, I teach a lot. But I also teach a lot of courses on bleaching. And so when she showed me this product, I was like, oh, it's another product. You know, yeah, I'll be glad to try it out. Little did I know that I would love and fall in love with this product. And I mean that. Um, it is the best product that I have seen in a very long time. 
she gave it to me and I think it came on a Thursday and I told her by Monday, you've got to, you've got to put this in, um, you know, your armamentarium for sales, you know, and, and having this as a product that you can offer, um, practices because this is something that is really great. Um, it is really a great, um, you know, I think, uh, add on to our practices to be able to show patients that this is the way that you should be cleaning these appliances. But let me show we, show you a little bit about what's different. This product is called Dr. Mark's Hygiene. We call it Hygiene, okay? And what it comes with is it comes with a cleaning device. It also comes with a soap-based cleaning gel um, that is for formulated on washing all of these appliances that you know would be uh, going going into the device. Um, it also helps with stain, and it's got. Uh, a removable stain um, cleaner that's embedded into the cleansing gel, um, and then help with removing any buildup that's on those new appliances as well. For those of you that like, you know, uh, we think about uh, essential oils. It has pure peppermint oil. Um, and, you know, we know that peppermint oil is also an antibacterial, natural, um, you know, component of, of anything that we're utilizing, but most importantly, adding it to the cleansing gel is a huge plus. This kit comes with the hygiene device. It also comes with um, our cleansing gel. Um, and then there's a separate one for dentures. And the denture one comes with a hygiene device or hygiene device, and then it comes with the gel, but it also comes with a little brush that I, I absolutely love. Um, and so there's two different um, you know, offerings here. I will tell you that um, I love both of them. I also like to utilize the Sure Brush for my bleaching trays. Um, too. So I think there's a lot of ways here that you're going to see this is going to really fit your practice. The beauty of it is that it looks nice. I think the presence of it to be able to showcase this to patients is really important. It adds that new or that side of boutique to, uh, to what we're doing and what we're offering, right? The other thing is it's a great storage device. Um, and when I show you in a minute exactly how to utilize it, um, you'll see that, again, everything you need is right into this little device. And so we can clean the, um, the removable appliances. We can protect them overnight. Um, if they're going to be uh, sitting in overnight, there's compartment inside that is not just for one side or one arch of that appliance, if it's a double arch appliance. And, um, and I just feel like it's such an easier way for us to keep appliances clean. Let me show you how it works. A daily hygiene routine for your orthodontic aligners will help you get that perfect smile you're after. Let me show you how to keep your aligners clean in under a minute with Dr. Mark's Hygiene. To open your Dr. Mark's Hygiene, lightly grasp the blue bottom and the perforated body. Turn the white top until it clicks and lift the top off. For clear aligners, you can wash them one at a time or if they fit in your device, two at a time. When washing one at a time, nestle it into the bottom brush of the device. When washing two at a time, place the first one inner side up and the second one inner side down. Just like that. To close your Dr. Mark's Hygiene, simply place the white top handle onto the perforated body, turn until it clicks into place. Now, let's apply Dental Fresh. Dental Fresh is custom formulated to clean all types of dental appliances. Three to five generous drops and a splash of water is all you need. There are three washing actions. You can do a top wash, a bottom wash, or a multi-wash. 30 to 45 seconds or until your dental appliance is fully coated with Dental Fresh foam. Now let's rinse. Under a gentle flow of water, use the multi-wash action until all dental fresh foam is thoroughly rinsed away and clear water runs through your hygiene. Now that your dental appliance is clean, fresh and ready to use, you can pop it straight back into your mouth or leave it safely stored in your Dr. Mark's hygiene until you need it next. So I love the fact that this is something that we can offer patients, but most importantly, what we do in our practice is add it 
to the feet. So this way, there's no reason for the patient to, uh, to really and truly not um, say yes to it, right? Because we know that when we're delivering home care instructions and we're telling patients, hey, you need to go and get some peroxide to rinse your mouth, or you need to go get some floss threaders. And those are things that, you know, they're not going to just run out and do. And so when we look at, you know, how can we offer a great product, but most importantly, having a way for them to, um, you know, really keep everything that we need to um, clean. One of the things that we decided is that we would incorporate into the fee. And, and that's just one way um, to accomplish the fact that you want to really show patients, you know, that um, that you care and that it adds value. The other thing is, is with the gel, we're always going to have that. Um, and I'll show you here in a few minutes, our store, where we're able to really show patients um, uh, and have these extra amenities for them. They can order it from us. They can purchase it within the practice. They can purchase it within the store. And constantly having that reorder item will add to the bottom line. You know, when you think about what you can reorder um, and have that constantly, uh, having that income coming in is a huge plus. And I think that's one of the things that, you know, you really want to think about. With the Hygiene, you've got a cleansing gel. You also have, you know, a way where they can, you know, place both, um, again, the maxillary and mandibular arches if they have do, two different appliances. Um, but most importantly, you know, twisting that action um, is, you know, very easy to do. And some people will, you know, again, you saw the video where she's just doing one at a time. I, I like to just do both. Now, let's talk about how we deliver those home care instructions and how do we get patients to to really like it. Because again, you don't have to incorporate it in the fee. Um, you, you may want to sell it. And one of the things that I will do is any um, removable appliance that we're delivering, what we'll do is place it into the hygiene um, and clean it be right in front of the patient. So if I am talking to the patient about their their Invisalign, right? Or I'm talking to the patient about delivering their partial or delivering their bleaching trays. I will take them and put them into the hygiene and I will go ahead without them even knowing anything's happening, place it in, place my gel and I'll do it as I'm talking. Do you know how many patients will look at me like, what are you doing? When I rinse it off and I close it back, I'm going to, or rinse it off, I'm going to make sure it's dry before I sit and I'm gonna sit in the chair and I'm gonna open it up and let them take this out, let them take it out. What that does, and why would I do that? It allows them to see the hygiene, to see how beautiful it is, most importantly, see what's inside, to see what I was doing. And I think that's huge, right? A lot of times we're just doing it and we're not really showing patients, but this is when you think about how am I gonna get them to say yes to it, they just saw me doing it. It's that simple, but most importantly, when I open it up, I think that's the seal the deal, right? They're taking it out of the hygiene themselves to to not only, you know, see me cleaning it, but now it's a it's an experience, right? So this is really I think the reason why we are selling these the way we are right now is because of the fact that we're incorporating it as part of our delivery process, right? It's not like I'm saying, "Hey, if you want to buy this and it's great and no, we're going to show it. I'm going to deliver it that way and then patients are going to um, utilize it." Now, uh, I will tell you that the brushes can be cleaned. Um, they can be um, uh, they can be placed. Patients will ask, "How do I keep these clean?" Well, you can put them in a dishwasher. I've had some patients do that. Um, the cleansing gel will remove any of the debris. Um, I use this a lot of times too for demo. But most importantly, I can tell you that the patients that I've used it on and it's a brand new product um, have uh, we've incorporated it into our fee, so it does make us a little bit easier for us but that is such an added value. They absolutely love it. And the first question that I get is, how do I reorder the gel though when I run out? And so that is a constant reorder item, you know? So this is what I want you to really, again, focus on is, I'm always thinking about what else can we do to bring in income to the practice, you know? So that's really, again, I think an added service, but most importantly, having that convenience to where they're gonna come and get it. Because once they use the gel one time, they're going to love it and they're going to continue to do it. And I think getting patients in the habit of every time they take these out, regardless of the appliance, keeping it clean makes a huge, huge difference. And so one of the last things that I want to just mention before we close today is that I have put together um, a store for my own practice and I've actually done four stores right now for four dental offices. And what we're doing with those stores is that we are selling our bleaching, we're selling our 
um, appliance, you know, uh, you know, components, whether it be a um, an Audi tool or a device that would help them get their denture or get their partial out, their aligner as well. Um, and then we're adding this um, the hygiene to the uh, to the store because we want to be able to not only sell it to our patients, we also want to be able to have a way for them to reorder um, the solution or the cleansing gel and have that go directly to their home if they wanted to. We've uh, also allowed them to come and pick it up from the practice, and we just have them check out online and have it ready for them. And it's a again, it goes back to the service. We have to now more than ever think outside the box, right? more than ever outside the box. And I want to just mention there was a few questions about how do I order it? Well, this is $34.95 um, and you can um, order it. You know, there are coming individuals. Um, I like, I order six at a time. Um, and again, we're incorporated into the fee. We're raising the fee um, and incorporating it because we want patients to be able to take good home care. You don't have to do that. Um, and, uh, and again, you can order it online through Whitmix. Um, it's through their store. It is not sold with Shine, Patterson, or Benko or any other dealer because Whitmix wanted to keep the fee low. It went, anytime things are sold through a dealer, you know they've gonna, uh, they're going to have to up the price, and they really wanted it to be affordable for practices. And so I feel like that's a great ethical thing, even though I know a lot of you like to go through dealers for things to keep it all on one invoice. Um, I actually appreciate the fact that they're passing down that savings to us. Okay, so that's one of the things that I want to mention. Um, you can get um, uh, refills on the brushes inside of the Hygiene, but I can tell you it's a new product, so I haven't had anyone um, ask me for that yet. And um, But I will say that it is safe for any appliance. That was a question. Safe for any appliance, any appliance, right, regardless of what it is. And it's a great tool, I think, for kids. You know, when you think about kids right now with sports season, um, and showing mom this is a way to store it because one of the things we know is that dogs love these devices like bubble gum. They'll chew them up. And when they are get used to putting them into this versus just a retainer case, um, I think it makes it so much easier for us to not only keep up with it, uh, but most importantly to keep it out of the mouths of our pets, right? So, um, so again, I, I hope today you got some, you know, some tips, some pearls, uh, introducing you to a way to really, again, um, not only make us look good because that's what the hygiene does, um, and, and just really giving patients another avenue for keeping all of their appliances clean, but most importantly, keeping them safe, um, and healthy, right? Because that's what this is about. Well, I'm Shannon Brinker. I hope you enjoyed, uh, this, uh, presentation today. Um, one thing that I want to just quickly mention too is we use a lot of patient engagement uh, software. We use Weave and I also have Solution Reach. Um, Weave we utilize to text patients. So now what we're doing is we're putting in our home care instructions into our text messaging and um, and then we're also putting together email blasts. So this way we can email blast, blast patients about the products that we sell, but most importantly, the home care instructions. And um, if you're interested in having that, you can, after you go to um, answer our survey today and get, um, and, and you also have to take a quick little quiz. Um, and that's AGD PACE accreditation. We have to do that. Um, your CE will be given, but most importantly, um, reading through some of those talking points and having um, these uh, checklists and, uh, and having some of the advertisement that we're putting together, uh, again, is a great avenue for that. I encourage you to take all of these and put them onto your desktop. Having the desktop, I think, makes a difference for team members because I can not only have it on the desktop, I can have it right there on my monitor, but most importantly, having it available for my team. When it's out of sight, it's out of mind. And so that's where you really want to make sure that you have things where they can see it. In our waiting room, we're playing these videos and it's nice to have those videos to show patients too, because sometimes, you know, when we're having to go get the doctor for a check or whatever, we can play the video for patients to watch. And I think it's a huge benefit. So I hope you enjoyed this today. If there's anything that I can do for you, any questions that you might have, I am Shannon at Chairside Assisting. Um, and again, hopefully you'll, uh, you'll check into the hygiene. I absolutely love it myself. And, um, and I think that it is a great addition to, um, any any way that we can you know partner that with our restorative deliveries um, is a plus. So thank you so much and check out those downloads and uh, and and utilize them in your practice. You know they're yours. Anything that we have um, that is attached to this learn, um, you can have it. All right. 
So take care. Hope to see you again in another one of our learning modules. And uh, if you need me, this is my email. I look forward to hearing from you soon.